Anyway, you see, the exhibition is arranged in two colors. We have blue walls and we have red walls. And the symbolism of the two colors is, on the blue walls you have paintings Rad and Saleh did in Europe. On the red walls, paintings he painted when he came back to Indonesia. So it's very easy for you to see at least a basic uh, order in this painting. Rad and Saleh was born in 1811 in Samara and he moved to Europe in 1829. He went to to Holland and was uh, trained there as a, as a painter. And here we have the first paintings he did when he came to Holland. We cannot say that at this time he was an artist already. He was a student, he was learning. And his teacher gave him certain uh, programs. Like here, he asked him, you have to show me that you are able to paint snow and ice. For a Chinese who just spent one year, not so easy. But if you look at it, he really succeeded. Already, it's not only the visual aspect of it, you get the feeling, you know, uh, it's almost freezing. Well, apparently, right from the start, he had a lot of talent and he was very eager to learn. Everybody talked about this when he was known. This boy really wants to learn. In, in, in this room, we have collected drawings and lithographs by Raden Salih. This collection here of 11 drawings, Raden Salih did when he was 11 years old. If you look at them, especially at this point, yeah, unbelievable. That's so good. You know? This was an 11 year old child who was had some education in the arts, but not really good. But he was already able to do this kind of drawings. And this this guy, this young fellow, he must have had talent, you know. It was painted in 1857. Di died in 1855 and what we see here what happened here happened in the end of February 1830 this was the end of the Java war Diponegoro was captured by the Dutch actually the Dutch invited him for peace talk and there was no talk about that they are going to arrest him and then finally, they were not interested in peace talk, but arrested him. Though he really was cheated, you know, not big reason. And at the same time, this is the beginning of Dutch colonialism. After the arrest of the Bonagoro, the large-scale colonial uh, administration and exploitation started here in Indonesia. I know from historical literature that the Mega Mendung was the only pass in Indonesia you could not travel with horses. Though the carriage is drawn by Kerbau. You needed Kerbaus to go up the Mega Mendung. And also you see they have the color red and white, these two people. And this was the, the colors of the mail line that went up the Mega Mendung. Also here, the big thing is nature, the small thing, uh, human beings. But still, if you look very closely, you see the details are extremely beautiful, extremely well done. This is really the work of a, of a great master, definitely. And I congratulate you Indonesians to this great master, Raden Saleh. Thank you very much for... Thank you.